Hi, my name is Penny Metzger here from the Office of Instructional Technology at the University of New Orleans and today in conjunction with the Earl K. Long Library we are going over how to add a library reading list to your Moodle course. Library reading lists allow your students to quickly and easily access articles available through the library's databases. Using a reading list helps the library track how many students are using their resources and can help the library to acquire funding. To add our reading list, first we will need to enter the course we would like to work on. Today, I'll be working in the Moodle Training Sandbox. First, I'm going to turn my editing on, here in the top right corner of the screen. Next, I am going to scroll to the topic I would like to add my reading list to and click Add an Activity or Resource here near the bottom of the topic. From my list of activities, I am going to select General External Tool, then click Add. First, my activity will need a name. Next, I select External Tool Type using the drop-down box here. And out of that list, I select Library Reading List. Now I can save and return to course. We have created a reading list, but it does not yet have any content. To add items to our list, we will need to access it. There are two ways to add an article to your reading list, the basic search and the URL option. Basic search. When you first open your reading list, you will be presented with a basic search option. You can search for articles by keyword, author, or title. For example, When you find an article that you would like to add, just scroll and beneath that article, click Add to Reading List. If you would like to see the contents of your reading list, scroll back to the top of the page and near the top left, click See Current Reading List. Here you are able to add notes to each item. You can also sort the order if you would like. URL option. From this page you can also add outside URLs. This is important because the basic search option uses the library's OneSearch, which is connected to about 75% of the library's databases. If there is an article that you know is in a library database, but you cannot find it through the basic search option, you will be able to add it as a URL. For example, OneSearch does not connect to the database Mergent. However, you can access the database through the library's website. So to add a reading from Mergent, you would just need to find the article through the library's website, then copy the URL. I have a Mergent article pulled up here. I'm just going to copy the URL, go back to my reading list, and paste it in the URL box. Then I'm going to title it. Then click Add to Reading List. The reading list will warn students that they will open a new window. You have successfully added items to your reading list and now have a basic grasp of the library reading list tool.